Test, test. What's up, everybody? Hi. How's it going? Okay, why not? Um, what's up, everybody? Welcome to another secret sauce. Today, actually, it's night. I think this is the latest secret sauce we've ever done. We've definitely gone later than this, but we never started this late. We're making Mediterranean baked chicken with olives and Moroccan watermelon salad. Oof. And you know what? Volume is low. Oh, let's fix that. Is this any better? Yes, lowering the music. All right, I hope that volume is better. Ooh, where'd chat go? Okay. So, if you missed it, because some of you said it was a little bit quiet, I'm making Mediterranean-style baked chicken with olives. It's still low? This is weird. It's not usually a problem. Uh, and Moroccan watermelon salad. Here. Okay. Hey. Ah. That should be that should be better. It's a little bit more level. All right, let me cut this thing because I actually want to chill the watermelon for as long as possible. Where are you? Okay. Much better? Good. Yes. You fooled us on the mac and cheese. No, I was all fluffy. I didn't I said zero about mac and cheese. Alright. Uh Cakers, what's up? Thank you for the seven months. Welcome back. Zelez 13. Thank you for the 300 bits and the thousand biddies. Thank you so much. Alright, and I see we got some subs yesterday. Um during the pregame. I hope you guys liked last night's episode of Gray Area. It was super fun. And here we go. Let's do this. Ooh, ooh. Now I'm getting feedback. <coughs> on my show. Hold up. Oh, oh. Okay. We're good. That. These things have a life of their own sometimes, I swear. I've never made a watermelon salad. I just always ate watermelon or maybe watermelon with some chili powder. But, okay. Let's do this. I actually hate...
cutting watermelon. I also need to invest in a new knife, which I will be doing very soon. So I'm not going to look at you guys a whole lot because, and this camera is going to get it, this camera is going to get in my way, I feel like. Anyways, let's do this. Don't tell me I got another bad watermelon, man. No seeds. Whack. All right, how much watermelon do we need? We need a lot of watermelon for this. Um, four to five cups. I'm just going to do all of this and kind of eyeball it. I don't think I'm going to bother measuring it out. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Since this doesn't need to be like pretty or perfect, I'm just gonna start now. I don't need to slice it into smaller pieces than this at all. All right, let's see. Taste test. Whatever. You remember when watermelon was red? Like our blood? Not these days. Ice cold. <laughs> Alright, I had to get a trash bag. And a bowl. What else are we putting in this? Trying to imagine which size bowl I need. We're gonna go with this one. Yes, we are. Oven is not on, so I can do that. Actually, all the ugly pieces, I'll put in a separate bowl. Mm. Yeah, 
too big. No watermelon soup, though I do want to try one. 8-Bit Preston, thank you for the prime. Welcome to my stream. MSAIR94, Corley Compound, Perito Perdido. Thank you for the prime subs, you guys. Welcome. This is Secret Sauce, Grungy Sheriff. Thank you for the seven tier one seven months. Wave at him. What kind of fruit is common here? Uh... Good question, because as I live in, I was born and raised in California, so one, we're really spoiled because we have fruit year round. Um, but I would say a lot of like a lot of oranges, uh, peaches, nectarines, and berries. But of course, like I said, we're really spoiled here because we're the one of the agricultural hubs of america so we really have access to everything did i miss anything hello from japan hi welcome to my stream you missed a lot Mr. Hype Train. Man. Lemon and limes. Yeah, a lot of citrus here. Plums even. I'm stoked for my brother to get his doctorate so I can give him that cameo video. Oh, awesome. Cool. Congratulations to your brother again. That's dope. I had another person got, uh, that got a cameo for their friend who was going to, into surgery. I think it was today or tomorrow. I forget which day. Anyways, no more cameos. Not until the next charitable cause. At least. Oh yeah, dates. We have a lot of dates. Mm. I have some in my fridge right now. All right, this is a lot already, it seems like. Uh, and I don't want to waste it either. Hmm. All right, I'll just do this last piece. Haven't had one in months. <laughs> Mothman Loyalist, thank you for the tier one. Zalez 13, thank you for the, whoa, tier three, four months? Time flies. I was talking to a chef who was complaining that we can't find watermelons with seeds very easily anymore and then he has to pay premium to buy watermelon seeds because he can't get them out of a watermelon and he wants them in recipes ridiculous
story of my life. I think that's going to be, I'm going to stop there. Otherwise the bowl is going to be full. Only of watermelon. So. What's the watermelon for? I'm making a Moroccan watermelon salad, which somebody recommended on the Discord recipe suggestions channel. So don't forget we have that channel because I do look at it. And then we're going to be making Mediterranean chicken with olives. I think it's a good combination. It's actually super hot again today. It's hot out right now, which is kind of nice because I love... Um, I love hot summer nights and we did not have that many, so I'm not mad at it. All right, let me get a small bowl for this. You're not looking forward to snow at all. Ugh. It's nice to visit. What's the seasoning for the bird? You will find out. You will find out. Actually, I need a different towel. Hold on.
Um, I actually invited some friends over to share this with me. Um, and I actually might have even pressed that too hard. But this is still for two people because one of them does not eat meat. So, never been a fan of olives. Ah, my lifeline. Okay, the first one I did better than this one. Um, mm. So I'm kind of combining two recipes. One that fluffy scent for the chicken and one that I found linked within the description of this recipe. I wanted to com um, compare them. There's so many different types of olives though. Like I hear people say they hate olives. I'm like, what kind of olives are you eating though? Anyways. I don't know if I like this technique. I'm not, I, uh, I looked it up. <laughs> I looked it up online. How do you pit olives? Because I've never done it for a recipe. I just eat them um, and spit out the pit. So, ticken, 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 chicken tagine has olives. I love a good tagine. Uh, this is kind of similar, but not as, not as decadent and luxurious. All right, I might try a different technique after this, after this one. Ah, wait. Okay. The fist worked better than the hand. Spit the pit, man. So I'm not going to do a whole lot of these. This, I mean, I feel like so much meat is wasted, though. Look at that. Whatever. Anyways. How many did I do? One, two, three, four, five, ooh, six, seven. I did get Kalamata olives too. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. A metal straw. Uh, I think they're too big for a straw. I don't exactly know what you mean by that. I think I get it, but no, that would not work with these. Uh, when did I first know I was a good cook? I don't know. I just enjoy it. I've always enjoyed it. Food brings people together. I enjoy experimenting. I enjoy trying new things. And like this one, just some of these are more soft than others. Sasha Gray's Hell Kitchen, Hell's Kitchen. Ooh, there's like a, there's a sweet spot. That was the sweet spot. All right, look at how clean, look at that clean break. Look at that clean break compared to this with all the meat left on it. Ooh, I like it. Anyways, I was thinking when I was looking at this recipe, like, you guys know that I enjoy making things from scratch, even when there's easier alternatives available. We talk about this a lot. But even this, for me, Even this for me is a little extreme, having to pit olives for a recipe. This would be something you would definitely want to make with friends or family. So like as one person is preparing the chicken, that was not the sweet spot. As one person is preparing one part of the dish, the other is doing this. <laughs> This is, this is a lot. I know they sh you can use like a cherry pitter and things like that, but I wasn't about to go buy one. This is the first time I've ever even pitted olives like this. 
for a recipe. So I had actually some chicken breast left over. And then I also bought some chicken thighs. So I have like a, um, about two pounds of chicken. And these recipes are kind of all over the place. So I'm again, I'm mixing them up. So the measurements aren't really going to be exact. You made spanakopita today. I've never made spanakopita, but I've eaten it and I love it. You hope to find inspiration from watching my cooking streams and not just reheating things. Oh, I like that. I like to hear that. And I also feel like there's a lot of ju olive juice wasted. I mean, it's... I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's a lot of olive juice on here. Okay. Now what? Now what? I'm just going to get everything we need. Garlic. Oh, I need rosemary. You know what? I think I'm going to leave. This one says rosemary. Does the other say rosemary? No, it says oregano. And oregano. I'm going to go with the oregano instead of rosemary. Okay. Um, garlic. Mustard. Capers. Sugar. Garlic, mustard, caper, sugar. Brown sugar. So, here's a little tip for you. If you're on the fence about capers and you want to experiment more, or if you don't like capers, you might change your mind. These are the only capers I recommend ever using, ever, for cooking. Salted capers. Do not buy the stuff in the jar. Salted capers. These, I'm running so low. These are capers from Sicily that I've had for a year now. I got a lot of them, and I'm running low. Very sad. They're really, really good. And here's one thing you can do if you're, if you remember. Sometimes I'm bad at prepping for a meal. Um, you just put them in a glass, like a shot glass or espresso glass or a very tiny bowl um, of water and let it soak. When you have salted capers, you always wash the salt off. Always, always, because there can also be dirt and things still attached or even stems. So while we're doing everything else, I'll let these soak in water. And in this case, I actually just put them in a coffee cup. I mean, these are so good. I can eat them. Mm. Like that. So delicious. 
red wine vinegar. Mustard. White wine, brown sugar, capers, olives. Oh, the Kalamata olives. Okay. Um, garlic. Oregano. Multiple olives. Oh, yes. What's on the menu tonight and what is the sauce? We're making Mediterranean baked chicken with olives and wa Moroccan watermelon salad. So what is the sauce? If you've never seen my secret sauce streams, there generally isn't a sauce. On occasion there is. It's just called secret sauce because every chef has a secret. They don't always give away their full recipe. So in every secret sauce stream I add a little something something that I don't tell you guys there should be some music I turned it a little bit low though the secret is love No music, Ugh, I forgot to double check. Okay, I tried to turn the music down so when we do the edits of the videos, it's not too loud. Uh, but I guess I forgot to double check and ask if it was loud enough. I mean, I asked and then I forgot to look at the reply, so. After I'm done with this one. The secret is MSG. Shh. I hate garlic peel. The worst. All right, so you're just gonna, we're gonna mix all this together. So here's the thing, I'm cheating because I did not marinate this in time. Otherwise, there would be nothing to show you guys. But the good thing is... The good thing is, it's being baked, so I think it's going to taste fine. Even though I'm a, a advocate of marinating. 
so. All right, you guys should have a little music. I just wrote to the mods. All right, so, oop, where'd chat go? Oop, there you are. Craig R1, thank you for the tier one sub. Anonymous, thank you for a tier one gifted. Euphoric Tortoise, thank you for a tier one gifted. Laters, thank you for the tier one. Gueres3110, thank you for the prime sub. What's up, you guys? No gray area tomorrow, but I will be streaming tomorrow. Um, They gave everybody the day off. I just want to double check both of these recipes. Sounding pretty good. It's sounding pretty good. Alright. Here's what we're gonna do. Wait, one more thing. Why does this one not say? This is weird. Oh, yeah, it does. Need way more olive oil than that, though. I should just use this as the mixing bowl. Might as well. It's going, it's all going in here. So, some brown sugar. I don't know, two pounds, let's say. Do like a, I don't know, that's like a half a cup. Olive oil. Extra virgin olive oil, please people. Throw these olives in. Now the Kalamata olives. That looks about good, I don't know. Definitely more than 10. Now this recipe calls for prunes. I thought this was really interesting. Really freaking interesting. How many? Well, one of them, the one that has prunes in it is like, you're supposed to cook two whole chickens, which I'm definitely obviously not doing. It says one and a half cups of prunes. I feel like these need to be broken up. What kind of sports do I like to watch? I grew up watching football, NFL football, American football, um, basketball and hockey. These days, I really don't have a lot of time for watching sports. That's a lot of prunes, but it was calling for two whole chickens. I'm not doing two whole chickens, so. I did what? That was two prunes, three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. I don't know. Let's do a couple more. looking good 
That looks good. That looks good. That looks pretty good. The garlic. Garlic, I'm just gonna kind of smash. Dollars and twenty cents. Hi, we have the same actual surname. Ha ha! I remember googling it and seeing you popping up everywhere, and had no idea why. Pog. I Tay, thank you for the four twenty. That's a really interesting. That's interesting. I wonder where you're from. Um, she looks like she'd punch you in the arm and call you bruh. Okay. Ooh, no, this has uh, the olive, the olive juice traveled. All right. I'm not good at the knife smashing technique yet. One of these days, one of these days I'll watch it. I do this more with a fork and a bowl when I'm doing like really small bowls of rice or something for myself. easier than I thought. That wasn't too bad. Although those, you know, expert chefs, they make it look so easy. They're just like, oh, I delicately press the, uh, the edge of the blade on the garlic and smash it. Nah. Pound it. This feels safer. This feels, this actually feels safer. And now some more good stuff. Uh, bay leaves. Since we're only doing two pounds of chicken, I'm using one bay leaf. recipe says or balsamic I'll tell you what I think since there's already a lot of flavors happening salty sweet prunes olives capers um, whole whole grain Dijon mustard I don't think balsamic is the way to go in this what did I use this for olives no I don't want to use that Spoon of that, another spoon of that. Oh, oh, this smells heavenly. Show you guys this. Heavenly. Heavenly. I'm loving it already. Still need to add the capers and the oregano. Is this a good dish for a first date? I think I think this could be a good dish for a first date. It's relatively simple and it's probably you know like i said i didn't actually have time to marinate it because i wouldn't be able to show you guys how to make it but it's a really interesting dish and you can't i feel like this is something you can't really mess up 
It bakes, goes in the oven. So I'm gonna wait to put the capers in. Here's a little something, nostalgic factor. Whenever I work with dried oregano, which I do a lot, I cannot just dump it in from the container into whatever the dish is. I always continue to break it down like this. It's just something my dad always did. And he would always, when I was watching him cook or when he would ask me to help, say, okay, don't forget. And the few times I've skipped it, which has probably been like twice in the past 20 years, I think about it. I'm like, why did I do, why didn't I just take that extra second to do it? And it's nice. It, it becomes a little more powdery. I like it. That is so sweet to hear, Phil. Aw, welcome to my stream and congratulations. Okay, that's going, um, I'm gonna take this off of here. Uh, I'm gonna get the chicken out. So, like I said, I have about two, two pounds more or less of chicken. I have um, chicken breasts and then I got chicken thighs to sort of even it out. A little lean, a little fatty balance. I'm gonna wash this. I don't care what people say. I still wash my chicken. I will never not wash my chicken. And we're gonna have to use this because I'm running low on paper towels. Actually, <laughs> I'm gonna bring, uh, I'm just gonna bring this so I don't get water all over the floor.
I think, let's see what this one says. Um, this says, just use the, one is like a whole chicken and one is chicken thighs. I feel like because we're not marinating, I'm actually going to dice all of the chicken up. And I think that's going to help infuse the flavors a little bit better. And also since we have breasts and thighs, it might cook a little bit more evenly. Um, I'm not doing a whole chicken because that, it would get wasted. Um, what I am going to do first though is... I always, not always, sometimes I get a little bit nervous when salting a dish that has capers in it because I've definitely over salted things before. So what I'm going to do with this is, this is almost gone, right? Yeah. Um, I'm going to chop it up and then salt it, just the chicken. And I feel like that'll make me f have more accuracy as to how much salt I actually want. So... Let's cut this up. I'm just going to dice it. Oh, I forgot to check. Hold on. What did what did you guys say on Discord? Um can be louder without problem. How's the music sound for you guys, chat? Does it sound okay? There's the fluffy. This recipe was inspired by Fluff. It's one that he recommended. I combined to this is like not the best chicken either. I'm a little annoyed. Kind of low. Okay, some of you don't hear it at all. I'm going to bump it just a tiny bit. If some of you can't hear it. I don't want it to be too loud. Okay. Tell me if that gets too loud. I am not removing the fat. Absolutely not. I want it. It's going to make it taste that much better. But that is just a weird, tough looking piece. You remove the fat once it's on your plate. Otherwise, I would have gone only chicken breast. Whitman Black, thank you for the tier one. K4224, thank you for the prime sub. Welcome, you guys. I heard chicken. Oh, yes, you did. There's a bone in that piece. I can smell the pot from here. It smells so good. I 
I'm, I'm actually trying to think if I was doing this with an entire whole chicken um, like I don't even know what I would marinate it in you would actually have to I would have to flip it because the ingredients don't actually submerge the chicken Okay, here we go. So, like I said, if you missed it uh, a few minutes ago, since we're doing this for stream, I didn't marinate it. Otherwise, you would have missed all the preparation. Um, since we didn't get a chance to marinate it, I'm showing you now. I'm seasoning it here on the chicken itself rather than in the pot because the recipe has capers and I always get a little bit worried that I'll over salt something because I have done it. So I feel like this will give me a little bit more control to actually see how much salt is going on the chicken, you know, instead of just like randomly dumping it in. Thanks, Jay Chosen. Good to see you back, man. A little bone. Why wash the chicken? Uh, old habits, man. I dried it off, too. Alright, and I'm officially out of this salt. Okay. I feel like I want a tiny bit more, though. Salt dillers. Washing chicken is how most people do it. I'd agree. But I don't know if you remember a few years ago, there's some report like, don't wash your chicken. We use gloves. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Oh yes, oh my goodness, this, this looks delicious. Definitely needs more olive oil. And we need these capers. got pictures today this is not your recipe exactly no it's not I combined two different recipes also because I was not about to cook a whole chicken not today at least no capers ever bye bye 
Bye bye. And if you're saying no capers ever and you're an anti caperer, I used to be an anti caperer until I discovered salted capers. Until I traveled and tried different cuisine and realized salted capers are a game changer. Wash a chicken. You like capers in a jar too? I just think, I, I don't know what I didn't like about them. Too mushy, I don't know. Different flavor. And now what? That's it. I feel like I want more garlic in here. Skin is like glue today. Dang. Okay, more garlic. Never a bad idea. And these I'm just 
breaking with my hands. It's gonna cook down anyways. Too much garlic. timer for like 15 minutes so then I can stir it around uh, and I'm gonna wash this oh wait we forgot this She always looks so disappointed when she reads chat. Hit him. Hit him with it, chat. Hit him with it. I'm going to close this. Resting smile face. Okay, this can go away. This can go away. This can go away. This can go away, this can go away. And now... And now we wash this. And now we wash this. Oh, you you would say that, Fluff. <laughs> it's not ready yet, and I'm really craving some pineapple, but it's not ready yet. I got it today. I see your light! I see your light! Streaming, we're alive. The food is in the oven. What's up? Hey, making a cameo on a different stream is crazy. <laughs>
All right, if you guys, uh, yeah, some of you guys know Mr. Nathaniel and Valerie Darling. Nathaniel is a dope DJ um, and composer, and she is the mod. <laughs> I know a few of you are familiar with his streams. Um, I had to wash that because it was chicken board. Can't leave a chicken board sitting, chat. It'd be disgusting. So that's in the oven. Timer is on. I'm going to go grab them chairs and see if they want to drink so they're not just hanging and waiting. Six of them. <laughs> on camera. Oh my god. I drank six of them. Uh, I wonder if some of you guys were on his stream last night. A few of you had to be. Alright, I got the chairs out for them. I got their drinks they're taken care of. And now we're back. We're gonna finish with... I mean, we're not finished. She's socializing. I need to feed people. You guys, I need to feed people. And it's been very difficult doing secret sauce and having nobody to share these things with. So. Um, also because I've been wanting to do, like I told you guys before, 
I've been wanting to do like secret sauce streams where either the recipe is lengthy or where I can do two things. And I typically don't have the time or ability to do two things where it's interesting enough for stream, I think. I don't want to just be waiting around. Uh, so I try to find things that just take longer. This, I think today, not only do these two dishes go really well together, but it was a good timing, I feel like. So a good amount of time for both. And we'll have two dishes. So where the heck? Uh, Grungy Sheriff said, what's up? Oh, he walked out. Sorry. Okay, I know what we'll do next. We're doing a socially distanced dinner. They're outside. We're not staying inside. Actually, can you guys, what can you guys see there? I oh, can see this one today. Next thing we're going to do is, where the heck did I put them? Ah. A quarter cup toasted pistachios. Super low heat. I'm gonna let that heat up for a second. Is breakfast ready? This is cast iron, yeah. Um, I treated myself to this for Christmas one year. I actually need to get a bigger one now. I did have a bigger one and I ruined it years ago. Um... This one I've taken care of and I love it and it's perfect for me. But now there's other recipes that I keep looking at that I want to do more of. So I might, because you know what is the best in a cast iron? Cornbread. <gasps> cast iron cornbread is so good. And this is too small for that. Like I would, I would buy cast iron just for cast iron cornbread. <laughs> All right. So that's heating up. We need parsley and mint, red onion. Oh, we need more red wine vinegar. And cucumbers. All right. Need another towel. Right here. Price tips $4.20. Do a kickflip. Dump this water out. <laughs> Do a kick flip. <gasps> that was a twist, not a flip. Can't really do a kick flip. Your cat can lick the flea medicine off the back of its neck. Yeah, you're putting it to... You gotta, gotta switch switch the positioning of that flea medicine. The cutting board needs some oil. I just washed it, bro. Can't have oil until it's dry. And it's actually brand new. Mm. 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 Amazing. 
Well, lighting. Yes. Oh, are you watching it? <laughs> It's actually pretty up, thanks, but it's it's kind of overexposed. No, but like there's it. no way to. I like it a little bit, actually. With the webcam, it's always overexposed. And my lens for my camera camera is not, uh, it doesn't work for this. So I'm actually going to look into another lens for the good camera. I don't know. I, 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 I kind of like the overexposed. <laughs> Glowing. Glowing, float, darling. Float in front of the background. Biggs asked if you're drinking a claw. He is not. I am not drinking nope. a claw, Biggs. I'm stepping up right now. I have some of this Japanese whiskey. Oh, yeah. What is it? It's delicious. It's delicious. I'm drinking mezcal. Oh, I don't know. It's not hitting. see this I might want one more no, no. what huh no. uh yeah no. be careful no. Le electronics <laughs> said no 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 I'm trying to decide if I want more cucumber than this but I need to stir it first maybe what do you think, chat? Maybe one more cucumber? Maybe half? Mm, I would say half. Half? We're putting parsley and mint in here too. Does anyone remember who recommended the wa Moroccan watermelon salad? I don't remember if it was in chat or in um, Discord recipe suggestions. But if you guys want to suggest things, of course, check out our Discord. We have a whole channel dedicated to just that. Oh my goodness. This is, this is gonna be delicious. Oh, smells so good. What do we have next? Oh. Anytime I, it, it's so difficult. Not, it's not difficult. You just have to pay attention when you're toasting. When you're toasting any kind of nuts. They burn so quickly. Kind of have to constantly stir them. And I got them raw, unsalted, so I'm gonna put my own salt in there. And I have it on really low too. Salt here. 
felt here. All right, what's next? Uh, herbs? Actually, let's do something fun. Mezzaluna, it's half a moon knife. Oh, look at that. Already forgetting. I'm already forgetting. This mint. How much does it say? <laughs> this is like, I'm just going to go with this. This mint and this parsley. Uh, both of these are from my garden. Mm. Oh, yeah. Homegrown, that's right. Mm. My tomatoes did not turn out that great. Like they're, maybe I didn't fertilize them enough, but they're growing so slowly. I get like five at a time and they're only cherry tomatoes because that's all I could find. Um, different types of cherry tomatoes though. And um, yeah, so I get like five at a time. It's really strange. You can do fresh herbs in your window if you have too many animals outside in your window you know in front of a window not in your window that'd be quite impossible Some of these got burned by the sun, man. It's weird, actually. Um, mint never used to grow in my garden. And then when I planted stuff during the spring this year, I like really worked the soil. And this year it freaking grew like a weed. I was so happy. I love mint. I've been, you want fries? I've been craving fries, man. Like re really good fries though. Restaurant, thin, hot, crispy, some Dijon. Mm. All right, check this out. Check this out. Uh, uh, uh. That one's too burned. Can you guys see this? Yeah, you can. Cool. I love this thing.
makes it so easy. Ugh, oh, fresh mint. So good. So good. Mmm. All right, throw it inside. Oh, it smells so good. Ah, this combo, I'm loving it already. Okay, so some of you might have heard me talk about this before, some of you maybe not. With parsley, I don't mind using the stem so much, unless it's really thick like that, then I'll break it off. Whereas with cilantro, I, uh, I typically get rid of the stem. It's more bitter than parsley stems. Like these are too big, too thick, it's trash. All right, is this ready yet? These are done. Magic, look at this. I bet she has a chainsaw. <laughs> oh, fresh parsley. Oh, it's not the same from the store as when you actually grow it yourself. I love this. Stab, stab, reap, reap, cow, cow. Mm. Mm. Yum. Mm. So fresh. How much, how much, how much? Hmm, hmm. All right. My other, my other love, onions. Avic underscore high banana tipped six dollars and ninety cents. Has anyone actually ever called eight million six hundred seventy five thousand three hundred nine?
Oh, yes. Mm. Cannot wait. Cannot wait for this. I've never made this before. I could have gone a little thinner. Should have. Oh, well. It'll still be good. I love mandolins. They're game changers in the kitchen. All right, I'm gonna mix this over here. Smells good. Mm -mm. More onion. And I actually need More vinegar. So it says on this one, you can use, oh no, not regular. Okay, red wine or white balsamic. I'm gonna use red. Or do I have white? I do. I have both white wine. Oh no, it said white balsamic. I don't have white balsamic. Is this the same thing? Nah, we'll do red. We'll do red. I don't think I have white balsamic. I have everything else but that. Turn that off. Come back, can you blame me? Ooh, 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 ooh. I'm looking for something. Vinegar. Ooh, delicious. A little something something. Wow. 
those flavors are crazy amazing that in there for a couple minutes while I check the chicken. So, looking at this, I think it would be really good with rice. If you don't eat rice, quinoa, or whatever you want, but it's not, the sauce isn't really looking thick. Um, sometimes I do these invention recipes on the stove, not in the oven, but in the same pot where I... I don't know, it's the balance I do with the ingredients I use where the sauce really becomes thick and you can serve it with rice but you don't necessarily have to. I feel like this you, is really begging for rice and there was no good bread at the store so I didn't even get bread. Mm. Wow. I was just checking to see if it was ready. You could put, yeah, you could put some flour to thicken it. I don't want to. I want to go flourless. Mm. 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 Oh, yes. Let me move this. away from here no finger snap though we need the I need the bite with the olives and the prunes and the capers that was just to make sure the chicken was cooked and then I'm gonna go ask them a question about what they want one second Okay, so since you're still here with me, I'm gonna do one more little thing I wasn't gonna do on camera, but I might as well. So my friend doesn't eat, one of my friends don't eat meat. So these are the chickpeas I made. Um, that I forgot to mention on stream that day I was making them. The, yeah, this is too small. I mean, this is too big. I'm turning the oven off because the chicken's done. Um, that pot I made the chickpeas in is so good. It makes the liquid of any of the beans you're cooking super thick, not just watery. Normally I just do this over the sink and with a different uh, spoon with holes in it, like a plastic spoon with holes in it to drain it. 
but it's dirty right now. So I'm doing it here for sake of the stream to just drain it out. What the guests are doing right now, they're outside like, feed me, end of the stream. I don't care about the chicken, give me the watermelon. All right, I'm gonna do the rest over the sink. All right, drain that. And I'm gonna open the oven, let some of that heat out. So, ooh. olive oil, mm, a little more. Vinegar. You don't need a lot of vinegar when you do this. Salt and pepper. The kind where you wake up next to Pangy in the morning and have done have to do the walk of shame. What? Mmm. Now you guys are making me hungry for breakfast food. A little oregano. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Mix it. I could use it. I thought there was more in here in the container than this. I could use a much smaller bowl. Oh well. And since I have all that parsley, I'm gonna put. I'll probably. Nah. We'll keep this one simple since we put parsley in the watermelon. Look at that. Easy. Healthy. Delicious. And then what are we going to do? I'm going to plate everything so you guys can see it in all its beautiful glory. Waffles and pancakes, I like your style. Wop for breakfast. Mmm, meows. When do you eat the food? <sighs> oh my goodness. This is the right spoon, yeah? No, I had a wooden spoon for this. I don't even want to touch it, it's so nice. I'm sweating now. I am sweating. Mmm. Mmm. Photo time. 
Photo time. Oh yes. All right, how are we gonna do this? You see all that? This would really, I could cook it down more. I could cook it down more, but I don't want the chicken to dry out, so I won't. But I could also add flour. I think it's still gonna be delicious. I actually want a smaller, whatever. No, I don't. Rice would re really would have been great with this, but not happening now. I'm leaving. <laughs> They're spying on, on the stream from outside and then come in to comment on what I said five minutes ago. All right, this is just for the presentation, you guys. I'm gonna eat more than this, but this is just for the photo. Dish one, dish one now. Oh, let's move this. Oh yes, the star. The highlight of this because that is beautiful. Beautiful. Here, look at this. Look at this. Need another cucumber. Mm. Mm. Beautiful. Phone? Yes. Here goes nothing. Looks like you turned the watermelon into strawberry. Dreidel, thank you for the prime sub, welcome. Chicken first, chicken first. <gasps> oh wait, we need a photo, hold on, hold on. Let's not forget the photo, camera. Open. Uh, it won't let me because it's windows. I'm going to disappear for just a second. Don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. No. Oh, yes. No. No, doesn't work. That's whack. That's so whack.
Oh, well. Here goes nothing. Absolutely, yes. Absolutely. Oh, man, I really want rice now. Ha! Ha! Hot. Mmm. Oh, this is delicious. This is a. This is delicious. This is freaking delicious. I would say. Doesn't even need the brown sugar. Maybe a spoon of brown sugar. But with the, oh my God, the olives are so good. The uh, whole grain Dijon usually has a little tang to it on its own. And with the, um, I almost said plums, prunes. With the prunes, those are already sweet. Excellent. Mm. tipped three dollars. Raid wings of redemption. Thank you for the three FSGBS. Welcome. All right. Watermelon, cucumber, Moroccan salad. I would like an actual Moroccan to confirm for me that this is legitimate and somebody didn't just title it that. Mmm. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is delicious. I never would have thought of this. Mmm. Mmm. The pistachio mint. worry I'll wrap it up after this but I don't want to keep them hanging so I'm gonna sign off and 
is a recipe in Discord. Here's the thing. I've not done any recipes, posted any recipes before. Um, I will try to get in the habit of doing that because people are asking me more and more for each secret sauce stream. So um, for future raids, you got to put that with the mods. I don't raid people that I'm not familiar with. Um, and I don't have time to because I like to stick around and kind of hang out when I raid people on top of it, at least for the first raid. Excuse me. Um, I'm not going to do that. Oh, this is a short stream. Short but sweet and good. We got two dishes out of this. I'm really excited. I will definitely tell him, Quad. Um, this is delicious. If you guys just are joining, I made Mediterranean baked chicken with olives and Moroccan watermelon cucumber salad. So delicious. Thank you, Fluffs. And thank you. Shout out to whoever recommended the watermelon salad. I forget and I feel terrible that I'm forgetting. But I did write it down in chat the other day and I thought it sounded good. And these dishes definitely go perfect together. So there is no gray area tomorrow because it is a holiday weekend. And that means I will be streaming. I will still be streaming. Just no gray area. We'll be back next Wednesday and Friday. So thank you so much, everybody, for watching. We're going to have tons of new YouTube stuff. I'm going to have YouTube up tomorrow and another one Friday probably, or Saturday probably too. So a lot of fun stuff coming. Latest YouTube video is out, is already up right now. I just posted it the other day. So check that out if you haven't already. Show me your love on YouTube if you want me to keep posting stuff there. And don't forget, don't forget to hang out on Discord if you're new here. Check out, check out our Discord. Get involved, get into it. And um, check out all of our channels because we talk a lot about food and we have a recipe suggestions channel on Discord. So thanks again for watching. Thank you, mods. Have a good night or day wherever you are. Stay healthy. Stay safe. See you tomorrow.